think I might be PMSing or something because today I, I've already expressed my sentiments for my emotions and things and 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 how I'm just not feeling it you know oh, I need to fix my mascara my hair that's wrinkled up y'all look and so how I'm just not feeling today so I didn't even want to cook today it's a gloomy day as it is anyway I said to myself I'm gonna go get myself some barbecue cuz barbecue always makes us southerners feel better i got a rip platter y'all know i like that swine y'all probably gonna be like that's what you give me that swine girl you know you like that swine 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 i do like that swine every now and again like maybe like once a month i'll eat some swine but not like on a weekly basis so i get home I open up my box of swine, minus the swine flu, because we, we, we trying to be healed, Lord. And you know, I'm biting into my ribs. I'm doing good, cause I got a sweet potato on the side and stuff, and some string beans, and some baked beans, and a piece of garlic bread, and I'm about to get it. You know, I'm about to get down into this swine. I bite into the swine. Mm. The top skin of the swine is just right. Your teeth breaks the skin of the swine. It's that perfect combination of um, crunchy and juicy underneath. So I'm like, mm, these some good ribs. And I'm about to lick my hands and suck on the bone. Cause you know, you got to suck on the bone. You know, <laughs> you better learn how to suck on the bone, okay? <laughs> Sorry, mom. And when I'm about to suck on the bone, suck you late on the bone, I noticed the bone was a little bit pink and oh, it pink. And I say, Lord Jesus, they trying to kill a sister because they know she like that swine. Ain't got no business eating the swine anyway when high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, malaitis running your family. But I'm eating it, Lord, and I'm praying over because I said, not today, Jesus, I'm going to live. Okay? And I say, no, 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 no. This, this is in my head because when you eat ribs, you know that when they smoke, they get a little, they, they got the, 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 the meat is just pink. You know, it's pink, but it's moist, not oozing pinkness, you know, pink, pinkish, reddish color. You feel me? So immediately I go into shock. Ah! diseases contractions and 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 other stuff that you can get from eating some raw pork and you know what you know what the worst one is death you can die yeah so i'm like you know what because at this point i've eaten all the meat off the bone remember i'm just about to succulate on the bone so i say oh my god oh my god maybe this was a fluke maybe this was just in my head maybe i'm going colorblind maybe i'm seeing red but it's just really pink so i break into another one not eating it, but break it to my finger and I peel it back and it's pink. So me, being a little timid that I am, I'm about to eat this, uh-uh. I'm about to write a, 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 a complaint on the line. Did she say on the line? Online, y'all know what I'm talking about, yep. And I said, no, I'm gonna do better than that. I'm about to take this back, cause I'm hungry. On my way there, I said, let me call these people because I don't want them to think I'm just some complaining old black person, you know, cause they always feel like us black folks is always complaining and you know it's so stereotypical that i'm complaining about the pork complaining about the swine timmy really so bring bring hello hi i just came there i brought about three platters of ribs and one of the platters i think it's a little bit undercooked what do you mean undercooked ma'am undercooked like it's a little bit pink bloody inside Oh, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Can you repeat yourself? You heard what I said. Trick, you heard what I said. Don't be a rabbit and try and pull tricks out of your head. You heard what I said! Oh, well, let me go check the other ribs. No, ma'am, you don't need to go check the other ribs. I'm coming to return the ribs that I purchased that are a little bit bloody, and then you can check and see if I'm lying or not. Do you know she put me me on hold and let the music roll? Girl! 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 She comes back, girl! She comes back. Let me catch my wig. I ain't even wearing my wig today. She comes back and was like, oh, these ribs are fine. And I said, calmly and ratchetly, what them ribs got to do with me and mine? Them ribs are done, but these here, 
that is about to be back into your establishment as a matter of fact since you were so rude and didn't even offer to replace my meal i want my money back jack okay here's the kicker because i'm good with names she gave me an asexual name y'all a name that could be either for a man or a female what you call them names what them names is called asexual gender whatever you know what i'm trying to say she gave me one of them non-gender specific names you know because a girl could be named jamie and a guy could be named jamie and i thought she was talking kind of low anyway so i just assumed for the benefit of the doubt that it was a woman y'all i get there i go inside and i said where's the manager some tall ginger dude with his red beard and red hair come over he said oh, i'm the new manager on duty conveniently jamie done got missing then scuttled up her way out of town because she knew that a crazy black woman was about to come in there and give her her life. And then when I was telling him, every time I come to this establishment, these females up in here seem to have a problem. A problem. Either they tired, they on day period, or they just don't want to be here. Or they having a boyfriend relationship related problem. And they can't tell you what the special is for the day, Timmy. I just wanted a plate of ribs. At this point, he's looking like he is tiring of the conversation. I said, oh, 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 little daddy, do me one better. Give me the owner's number. Because I ain't got time to be playing with y'all at Bono's. When I come to Bono's, I want my ribs done. And if the ribs ain't done, I ain't getting up out of my warm, cozy Uggs to come back out into the street life and try and haggle y'all down with a bloody plate of ribs. Who does that? Clearly, I was unhappy with the service. Mistake. Don't ever try to make the customer feel like their reason for bringing their food back that has to be ingested inside of their intestinal system and crapped out into their toilet and they gotta wipe their own booty. Don't ever make them feel like they wrong. You ask them, is there something else that would make you happy on the menu? If there ain't nothing else that's gonna make them happy, then either I can offer you a gift card for your next visit because you wanna keep them coming back. And if they don't wanna come back, and they ask for their money back, that's what you do. But I felt like I was trying to be nice because I knew I was still hungry, but this is the kicker. You know, as African-American people, a lot of times we work behind the counter, the cooks, okay? Who you think make that barbecue taste good? Your people, your own people, right? So bruh man comes from behind the counter and he's like, baby, what you want, you hungry? I said, yes, sir. That's all I wanted was for somebody to ask me what it was I wanted. I, I, it's not even the food that it was not that it wasn't delicious. I just didn't want my arm to fall off after eating it You know cuz I would have towed it down like a goose down and he hooked my plate up It's the service that sucks. So I'm definitely gonna get in contact with the owner and Let him know about the service because I do love their food and the location But then females they need to do better Like I'm gonna I'm need you to go home and try again change your tampon whatever it is that you need to do use some baby wipes after so you feel fresh down there below you know and, and, and keep it moving everybody don't need to know that you're having a bad day Susie and I'm wondering like what is it like they be mean to my mama too and we don't be rolling there acting ratchet like ah, ah, let me uh 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 uh, let me get, uh, wait, uh, I don't know what, uh, let me get a chicken, uh, let me get, uh, uh, no. It's like, yes, I would like to have three platters of the St. Louis ribs with green beans and, and baked beans and the original barbecue sauce and with a sweet tea. Thank you. You know, God forbid you ask them a question on any given day. You could ask them, what's in the baked beans? Uh, take a look at the menu and it'll tell you what's in the baked beans. Trick what? Clearly, I ain't see it. So I'm asking you, if I wanted to read, I would go read a book. And it will be the Bible, because I'm ready to call you everything but the child of God. Do you hear me?
Meanwhile, back at the ranch, I'm gonna take my chicken that my brother gave me from behind the counter and I'm about to go eat it, okay? And that's what it was too. I told the lady, I'm not gonna sit up here and argue with you whether the pork is done or not. I wouldn't feed it to my damn child. I just want you to replace it. I don't even know if I wanna eat right now. I'm feeling kinda sick in the stomach. Mm. Hope I don't got worms.